a little bit about the context for my presentation. I prepared this story keeping in mind an interview setting or for a position or a fellowship in the near future. The audience would be an individual or a group of people on the interview panel of a nonprofit organization. One scenario could be when the interviewer asks me, tell us about a significant moment in your life that made you reflect about your beliefs and value system. Let me tell you a story from December 2006. I had recently moved back to India from Canada after completing my undergraduate studies in criminology. I know I have chosen a path less traveled in India. I feel I am in a haze about where and how I will kickstart my career. My father suggested I meet a friend of his who is a senior police officer. You should go meet him. He might be able to guide you and tell you about the kind of people they recruit in their cybercrime unit. I reach out to him and seek his advice. In India, it is a common practice to join the workforce only after having completed graduate studies. He declares, you are taking a shortcut and being a girl, you have chosen a very inappropriate and dangerous career option. But if you want to pursue this profession, you should do your master's and then go into teaching. That's the safest option for you. I come home disappointed, but not discouraged. Three years later, at the Bombay High Court, I am waiting for the judge to arrive when I see this uniformed officer sitting in the adjacent row. He looks very familiar, but I am unable to recognize him. It is a hearing for a public interest litigation I have filed against the prison department. The jails of the state are extremely dilapidated and prisoners are kept in inhuman conditions. The judge orders the state's prison chief, the same guy who I thought I knew, to look into the study I have presented, do a formal investigation and present a report to the court of how they will ensure that the basic standards are met across these prisons. I have an aha moment. The wheel has come full circle. It is the same person who had advised, this field is inappropriate for a girl. I greet him and tell him, I am looking forward to this opportunity of working with you. In that moment, I realized that there might be stereotypes that I might base my judgments on about people around me. These stereotypes might not be as extreme as the one I experienced. However, one has to strive and understand and reflect to consciously avoid acting on these generalizations. We all exhibit biases to some degree. In some people, it must be more pronounced than others. While it is easy to identify the biases of others, it takes more effort to identify the ones that we possess. 